Welcome to Los Angeles International Airport. Everybody's flocking to the city of dreams, hoping to hitch their wagon to a star. That's what, please. What is the purpose of your visit? I'm an actor, douchebag. <laughs> I'm a psychic superstar. I'm a documentary filmmaker. I'm here to win prizes, sweet cheeks. Are you traveling alone? Oh, uh, no, I've got my mum in here. What these three men don't realize is that fame and fortune are fleeting. It's stupidity that's eternal. Welcome to La La Land. In Hollywood, for every fledgling actor, there's an expert waiting to help. In preparation for an industry party tonight, Gary is meeting with a networking coach. You're an actor, correct? Yeah. Okay, your goal is to improve yourself with your networking and further your acting career. And I've been in right. show business, I've done acting, modeling, uh, I was even a dancer, I've done comedy, hosting, directing. If it can be done in show business, I've done it. And there's two things that I've um, learned. Only two things after all no, that? No, I've learned, no. <laughs> Don't sass me is lesson number one. Um, but, but what, sorry, you got a, you're American and I don't know all the lingo. Okay. What did you say, sense? What is that word? It's like talking back. Right. And again, sass. Yeah, sass I should. I need to learn things like you that, to, don't I? Don't sass to, me, it sounds quite cool. Okay, and I don't know yet if you can act. I don't, you know, I haven't seen you perform, you know, as an actor. Can you do different accents? I can say. do American. Okay, please. All right, man. I'm American, man. Okay, that's not the way every American speaks. I'm Gary, man. No, 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 forget the man, just... I was born in London, man. And forget I'm... the man, don't say man. That helps me do the American Don't thing. do it, I just said don't do it. If your director tells you not to do something, are you going to keep doing it? You would be out the door by now. Don't sass me. You know Medium? Oh, Medium, yes, sir. Do you know that show? Okay, imagine that with me and a private investigator. That's why I'm gonna team up with this PI, Chico. And you know what, I think this could be great news for me because it will show people that I can solve crimes, Chico. Oh, come on, can you go any faster? I need to do a toilet, I need a wee. Doctor, have you got somewhere I can do a wee? Sorry? Have you got somewhere I can do a wee? I'm sorry? Have you got somewhere where I can do a wee? You can do a wee? I can do a wee. Sorry? Have you got somewhere I can do a wee? Do a wee? Sorry, it must be the culture clash. Yes. Have you got somewhere I can do a wee? Do a wee. Do a wee, a pee. A pee? A, a pee. Oh, oh, a pee. You need to use the restroom. Yes, that's oh, it, yeah. Yes. Toilet, we say. Hi, Shirley. Come with me. We're going to go ahead and meet Alan. I'm going to take you back to our office. Hi. Hi. Actually, nice to meet you, Alan. Have you ever worked with a psychic before? No, not yet. What I would do in this is I would take care of the psychic side. Yeah. You would take care of, of the investigation side. Investigation yeah. side, but we could help each other. 100%. Hey, can you bring that new case in? Okay. Awesome. Thank you. The information is here. Um, she's suspecting the husband is cheating. She thinks that he is cheating because he's working late hours. How long have they been married for? I, a while. Um, she said that it's not normal for him to be working late and what his I mean, do you is. feel something in this picture? I feel that she could do better than him. I do. No, do you not? You could, I agree with you totally. From just the way he looks, receding hair. He's trying to make up for what he's losing here. Here. After two weeks in Los Angeles, Filmmaker Brendan has yet to secure funding for any of his documentaries. Undeterred, he hopes to convince producer Jeff Schubert to back his latest idea. How you doing? Jeff Schubert, nice yeah. to meet you. What about a climbing documentary? Two guys, climbing buddies, uh, they go up a kind of an, an icy, icy mountain. Um, one of them takes a tumble. I'm close enough to get the cracks of the bones, the blood splattering on the lens and they have to live off their own piss for a week before they're now even Now, this found. is scripted, right? No, actually doing that. So you would have to randomly wait and see someone die? Well, not necessarily die, because I think it'd be nice if there was a nice upbeat ending right, right. where maybe they get found at the last minute. But how would they be in this much peril and be on camera? I'm going to film it. But for the audience's sake, 
you know, you're going on this documentary to film these two guys climbing. Exactly. Oh, by the way, one of them, this happened to happen. Yes. And then you're in It'll this situation. It'll look like an accident. It needs right. to look like an accident. Okay. Otherwise, I'm going to be in a lot of legal shit. Right. Because they'll be able to say, he tampered with the ropes. Or... Right. Right. It'll look like an accident. Boom. This is what just happened to happen. And boom. And then you're filming it. That could work. Absolutely. So you're going to have a strategy, Gary. You have this event tonight. Is I've, it a party? Is it a party? Um, yeah. Are you going alone? I can get it. What, like a hooker or something? No. What? It's just here. I bring someone sexy. I can hire someone. You don't hire somebody. You ask somebody. Tell me what you're wearing tonight, or what you plan on wearing. This means I'm looking at it. Okay. Does it have inside pockets? No. Where would you carry your resume? In my back. I'll get a hooker to carry it. <laughs> you're getting a. F I'll get a. Lady Somebody, assistant to uh, carry it. A lady assistant, and she can carry stuff. She can carry all of it. Tell her to carry a purse, it. put it And I can be swear. like, you, give him a thing. No. No. Come up and give me your introduction. You want to present yourself to me in two minutes. I'm Gary Garner, the best actor in the world ever. Bish, bash, bosh. OK, no. I'm Gary Garner. I'm Gary Garner. I just came from London. I just came Think from of London. something. I'm Gary Garner. I'm here because I want to be the best actor That's ever. That's better. Keep going. I'm hoping with your help, I might be able to get there. Fantastic! Yeah? That's what you say. Write it down. Write it down right now. It's your script. What was it? Fantastic. I'm Gary Garner. Was it the Bish Bash Bush one you like? No. The... You know what's... Come on. I really want to get inside him because I do remote viewing. I can get actually into that person and start seeing the world through their eyes. OK. Oh, I'm in. I can feel him. Uh, I'm in Starbucks. Wait, I'm in a, I'm having coffee. Don't like coffee. Uh, I'm in a pastrami sandwich. Oh, I'm going to commit a crime. And my loins have got sex in my loins. I want to get rid of it. Ah, Mexico. Mexico. Ah, oh, I want girl. I'm going to get scholar. I can't you go away. With an erect. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I could see him. You saw our subject. He was. I was in him. That's what he's doing now. What did he say? He did coffee and some type of pastrami sandwich, and mentioned some other erection that you're trying to get down. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know, but let me take some notes right now. Oh shit! I wet myself. Oh, fucking hell. You had an orgasm? I don't know how we can tell if that is. I don't well, think... Well, I don't that. want to tell. Encouraged by producer Jeff Schubert's interest, Brendan has decided to invest his five-year-old son's school fund in his climbing documentary and begin filming immediately. You know, if you're going to climb, at some point you're going to fall. And if I'm there to catch the fall, we make some bloody money. I'm not saying I don't want anyone to bloody die. Please. Can I just say this for the record? In fact, you should get this on camera. Film this. Uh, you rolling? Mm -hmm. I want nothing bad to happen to these climbers, and if anything should happen, a tumble, a fall, or a slip, I would just like to say for the record that I am not for that. That is bad, and I do not agree with any documentary maker what does that. Brendan's a good boy, can you say that? Brendan's a good boy. Brilliant. Gary is living in the Hollywood Hills home of Ruta Lee, a veteran film star he once chauffeured in the UK. Ruta is mentoring Gary through his career switch from driver to actor. Come here. You've had a busy day today. Yes. And you're going off to do this wonderful meet and greet tonight. Yeah, right, yeah. There will be quite a few people there, I understand. Can you give me like a story so no, I can... No, no, I What's cannot. The best story because you know? it has to be a story out of your own life. I've got a story. I went, this is, you'll love this. Mickey, my mate Mickey. I went out with Mickey and Tony and the boys and we we was at this ribs place. Do you have like a ribs place where you Course. go have a bib and yes. like you eat the ribs? Yes. I goes off the toilet for you know, Jimmy Piss. Come back and they <laughs> they put the ribs on top of mine. So mine's like double. I'm like, what have you done? And then they're all looking at me like, Gary. Gary, don't tell that story. 
It is <laughs> so <laughs> frigging boring. Come on. Just how thrilled you are. When I tell that story at a pub, everyone's like, how many ribs? I'm like, You this keep eye. forgetting that these people right. are pros yeah. who are not the least bit interested in your I stack of ribs. On his way to meet the climbers, Brendan is drawing on his own life experience for a unique angle to his documentary film. I mean, I think what's great about these two guys is you've got the old guy and you've got the young guy. Father and a son. I mean, it's universal. Everyone gets the old man, the young boy, the boy learning from the old man, the boy getting trained by the old man, the old man taking a fall. I mean, I'm not saying I'm... We will sort something out. Hi. Hello. Hi. Brendan Allen. I'm Bob. Bob. Tony and... Sarton, how you doing? Hi, nice to meet how you. are you? Good, good. Just imagine Kiki's not there. Uh, can you hold on to this? Right. Just pop it in your pocket, I think I need it. And if you get a quiet <laughs> moment, if you can just start scratching through the ropes. OK, quiet now, because I do my narration live. OK, uh, the two pals talked happily about the up-and-coming climb. Hey, Tony, if you want to TR one of those routes on the right side... Yeah? I'll belay you, and okay. then I could rappel off the top. That sounds good. Yeah, That'll I like work. That. There was nothing about the day that seemed out of the ordinary. Everything seemed perfectly fine. You could say, eerily fine. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> We're going over here. We're going to do a drive-by of the residence. Okay. We are just arriving at... We are just going to go driving by the residence. Yeah. The residence that we're watching yes. is right down the street here. Shall I say that into that? No. So, I mean, the Dodge Dart's going to pull out. We're going to see it. You can't miss it. So is it Where's really... the Dart going to go, though? That way or this way? We don't know that. Uh, oh, my God. So... Sorry, that spirit coming out. Whoa. Did you see that recent documentary they did on Pink Floyd? No, I didn't see it. Is that marijuana you're smoking right now? <laughs> yeah, just... Put, put that out right now. <laughs> Put that out. I'm He's driving. talking about Floyd. I don't care. I'm driving. Put that fucking thing out right now. There he goes right there. There he goes. Oh, my God. No, just stay still. What are you doing? Oh, flip it now. It just went right by us. Yeah. Come on, turn around. We are turning around. No, 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 no. We can't. Oh, man. What are you doing? I'm not smoking pot in here, dude. I'm not going to get in fucking trouble because of you. He's turning right. Just let me do the right bit. Let me do the right bit. Uh, subject is turning right. Let me see this. Do you want me to do driving and you sit here? No. I've got to do something. I'm not no, doing anything at the You're moment. fine right No one, no, yeah, neither one of us are doing anything. Yeah, but you are. You're on that. You've got the video camera. We're fine right oh, now. Oh, shit. Here he is. You don't, don't duck. You look obvious. Don't do that. He's going to think that you're giving me a head right now, actually. Because if I get pulled over and a cop smells that, I might get in trouble. It's against the law. We're in fucking America, dude. No, out the, no, oh, come my on. God. Oh, my Have God. you got back? Hey, hold on. What are you doing? Uh, hey, wait, wait. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, hold you on. Have you got a I'm going to ask you about it. I'm coming out of my mouth. You're going to make me fucking Have you got a dick shit? No, what the fuck? I'm not the case. On the advice of his networking coach, Gary has hired a personal assistant to accompany him to tonight's event. I've got a couple of stories. What's the story? I don't, well, you tell me which one you think's best. Do you have, like, ribs places here where you have, like, a bib? Uh -huh. Like Mickey and Colin and all my mates. I was, you know, having a Jimmy Piss, and they put all their ribs on top of mine. Like, this massive pile of ribs. Uh -huh. I'm and I'm like, you bastards, you've gone and put all the ribs. What's the other story? Um, my mate, uh, Mickey, back at home, he had a thingy, um, uh, what's it, mastectomy. When you don't want to have any more kids, he's already mastectomy? had kids. Okay. What? A mastectomy? That's it. <laughs> he was in the hospital. <laughs> Sorry. I'm... <laughs> I'm not sure, like, that would be the most appropriate subject to talk about with people that you don't know, you know? It was a perfect day. Blue sky above, green grass below. The very earth itself seemed to be rejoicing and the love shared between the old man and the boy. This not used to be called being called the old man. <laughs> well, that surprised me because you are getting on a bit, aren't you? And would you say um, your relationship with Bob, he's kind of guided you, he's helped you in a sort of fatherly way? Uh, I don't see it that way. He's like a father figure, though, to you. No, he's he? not. You're wrong. Well, he clearly is. Uh, this guy's seven or eight years aggressive. older than me. 
We're almost the same age. Sorry, Bob, could you... Is, he's finding it difficult to answer this because you're stood right in his eye line. It has nothing to so, do with that. Bob, yeah, it does. Go. Don't tell me what it has to do, all right? I'm a director, you're a climber. You know what I'm thinking you know in my head Yes, now? I do. I can see it in your eyes. Fuck you. Don't be silly, all Fuck right? You. Don't be silly, man. Don't you We're fucking to tell me what's going on in my so fucking head. Right, Bob, can you stop doing this? Get out, go to the back of the car, Bob. He's still guiding you like a bloody father now, isn't he? Bob was like a father to Tony. Bullshit. But he is like a father to you. He's your boss. Bullshit. Man. Look, this is my story, all right? It's father and son. It's, it's not father and son, dipshit. But you're about to go on a climb. I'm just trying to build a thing here. But yeah. Bob's no different from any of the Bob other looks like 50 he's in, guys. He looks 70 years old. He's got he no says hair. you look 70, Bob. 70. If you don't want to do this, just say you don't want to do it, because this is just stupid. Guess what? Let's not do it. Oh, man. How babyish. What are you doing? Can you calm him down? Talk to him as a dad to a son. Oh. Tell him. You He's your him. son. You speak to him. You're the one. Get, look at him. caused all the problems today. <laughs> stop being a dick, mate. Hey, Just stop me. being an idiot, all right? Stop being an idiot. Hey, dude, if you want to get climbing... Oh, don't hey, dude, me, you old bastard. At the networking party, Gary's finally getting his chance to work a room. I'm Gary, Gary Garner, Gary and Garner. Uh, um, I'm going to be the best actor in Hollywood. I might be able to help you out. That sounds great. Oh, well, I'll, I'll just do a story. Me, I was with my mate, Mickey. We went out for some ribs. I went off to the toilet, and I come back. I had, like, three or four stacks of ribs. They put all their ribs back on top of the other ribs. A whole load of ribs all on top of each other. And I'm like, who done that to my ribs? Jeez. <laughs> so there's a massive stack of ribs. I'm like, what, have, what have you done? <laughs> you need to stop with the rib story, please, please, please. What, it's not why? funny. It's not funny. <laughs> you have to have been there. It's not funny. People are looking at you like, what else has he got? My mate, Mickey. He he was in hospital and he had a <laughs> what is he called? So what? to me. And he was laying in the hospital bed, and his dick came up, like, not erect, but, like, it's going to be a semi, and the nurse was like, <laughs> get down, and she flicked the end of his helmet. It was like, you know, when you put salt on top of a slug and it retracts back? I'm the best actor, and how can I help you? You fucked up big time. Oh, man. You have smoked pot in the car. No, I didn't smoke pot he in the car. You threw a don't, joint. Don't kill me. You threw Do not a joint. Kill me. I apologize. And right? admit I'm what sorry. you did. All right? <laughs> I'm sorry, and I admit that what I did is wrong. Look, all right? You admit me to the climbing store. Go to the climb. Look, if you just call him back, we can get this. And that's what I wanted. You like old times, but it's not going to happen. Fine. We haven't got that bit now. A piggyback ride? Yeah, you haven't got that bit, so we can cancel that bit. Can we just do the climb? So what's this, all this? Yeah. That's no, nothing. Well, let's take it a just, look. No, it just ends. We can end it with you climbing. Cheers. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what's and you, so you can put me in the movies and all that. I I do I do producing for a movie. Yeah. And uh, we are set to start shooting at the end of this year. And if it needs to be, then we get the, our lawyers together and we sign the contract. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. Those two guys are not shit. They said they might help me with a film. It's bullshit. Everybody in LA wants to help you with a fucking film. Take a look at the guy's watch. The watch is not more than two hundred dollars. Well, let's go out there and front them out. No, no. This is not how we do it in LA. You don't front people out. These two guys, they're gonna get your fucking money, fuck you in the ass, and say goodbye. Come on, get me a drink. Whoa. Oh god. Oh god. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. Shirley and private investigator Alan Horner have trailed the suspected adulterer to a Mexican restaurant in Studio City. So, okay, we're here now. So what can you do for the kid? Like, what do you... So what would you do as a psychic? I've got an idea from Spirit. This is from Spirit, so I'm using psychic power. Spirit is saying to me, what about I go in... What are you going to do? You're going to roost the place? We're not supposed to be seen, heard, nothing else. He's here for a reason, and we're going to find out what that reason is. I can tell you why he's here, because she was saying to me to okay. meet a lady. Then, okay, then why are you doing anything outside the vehicle? He's going to meet a because lady. Because you're... Let's get in there and get him. Do what? Fucking have dinner with the fucker? Right, can you just stop this? Because why are you on the... You're allowed the camera, the little dictaphone thing. You've got the car. What have I got? All I'm getting to do is channel spirit. Is that what you... That's what you do? You're a psychic. I'm a private investigator. I'm going in. Wait, I'm going in. 
Are you receiving me? Get back in the car. Okay, I've just passed suspect and I am observing and reporting. Suspect is on telephone. Suspect is waiting at table. Are you hearing me? We knew subject was sitting at the table fucking an hour ago. Guys, I, can I just say, I've just been speaking to Mina, right? And your watch is worthless. It's less than $200, Mina's saying. It's rubbish. And you're leading me down a garden path going, oh, yeah, we're going to sort this out for you, Gary. And it's bullshit. Don't disrespect me in that type of way if you don't know who the hell I am. And let's be honest about that, OK? I've worked very hard for this shit. I invested millions of dollars in fucking movies. I could get you 30 people right now who will kick your ass right now that work for me. I know Bill Clinton. I didn't bring in the Rolex or anything because I didn't want to impress anybody about this shit. I don't believe in this. Yeah, you know I, don't, me, I don't believe and in this. This is better. This is not what that's said my dream. To happen. We're we've actually out of here, guys, because we've got things to do. All right, with real people who can actually help us. Right? Because please we've... stop talking. Stop talking, <laughs> Gary. Let's go. Come on. You are never going to make it by being that fucking honest. They are idiots, though, and oh. I've told them they're idiots. Oh my God, but you cannot. But it's better if you're honest. I don't want to lie to people. I want to tell the you're truth. In the wrong industry. You are in the wrong industry if you think you're going to succeed in any way, shape, or form. I'm sorry, Mina. Please, Mina. You're in the wrong fucking industry. Whoa. I am going in. Wish me luck. Everything all right with your food? Yes. Yeah? Everything all right with your food? Great. Yeah. Everything all right with your food here? Great. Okay. Everything all right with your food here? Okay. I'm the manager of the restaurant, Luigi. Okay. All right. I got a photograph. Uh, this uh, always do the photograph, uh, Luigi. Here. Okay. This is fucking bullshit. Can I see the photograph? No. Here? Can no, I just no, see no. the photograph? Here? Can I? Don't. I need the photograph. I need to. All right. You need to back off. Okay. If I don't get the photograph, there's going to be trouble here tonight. There's going to be trouble? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. That has not bloody worked. Do not come to my car. Do not come to my car. Pardon? I, ca I cannot hear you. I'm not getting a loud transmission from you. car. Walk away from my car. Why did you get in my car? Right. Did my car won't start right oh, now. Oh, shit. What do you mean your car's not going to start? It's, for some reason, it's dead. The fucking battery's dead. Lock the doors. Lock the doors now, please. Get out there. I'm just... No. Get out there and fight him. There's... I got to fight nobody. We have got a case solved. He kissed me on the lips with my tongue and everything. Did you or did you not see me get a photograph of him and me kissing? I saw you fucking out there looking like a fucking jackass. Why are you bullying on me? I'm not bullying you. You're fucking making yourself like an idiot. I am not an idiot. I'm a psychic and you're afraid you're of me. You're a psychic. You're a psychic. What the fuck did you do this last fucking hour that was so fucking psychic? Right, I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize. Okay. So just, just do what you would do. Okay. I'm going to go set up the rope. Kiki, come on. Can I do a quick interview? Okay, okay let's run me lowering it down. Bob? Kiki. I'm gonna lower the rope down. Got that. Why don't we go and do an interview over here? So uh um what how would you feel if you lost Bob? I don't think you would think of it more as like losing a son or Well he like already that, said but... it was like losing a son. <clears throat> the other one, Kiki. So we're ready? Yeah. Head down? Yeah, head okay. down. Cool. Thank you. Kiki, can you cut through the... Hey, Brendan, what are you doing? No, it's, everything's fine. What was Kiki doing? Kiki, I Nothing. I've told, got Kiki to stop doing. She just doesn't know what she's doing. What did she do? Nothing. I don't know what you did up there. Oh, Right, Kiki, that's yours. You pop it in your pocket. No, the, Hi guys. the knife. Hi. Can we turn off the camera for a sec, please? Can we turn up? Are you the director? Yes. What's your name? Uh, Brendan Allen. They're responsible for their own safety. When someone tampers with their safety... I haven't touched anything. Might... You know that if I fall and this anchor fails, 
and, and you guys fuck with the okay, Anders, stop right it's here. murder and it's a conspiracy. Let's ask Kiki. All four let's of you up here watching what's happening. Kiki, what did no, you do? No, let's not ask Kiki. Yeah, let's, let's ask her. Murder one, no. dude. What were you doing, Kiki? Were you doing anything? What yeah. have you been doing, Kiki, with that? Kiki? It's a knife. What I did see Brandon give that knife to her down below. No. Why? What are you saying that for? Because it's true. They're trying to ruin my film. Dude, I could give a fuck about your film, man. You sound like a real fucking prick, too. I'm just trying to make a movie. All I'm trying to do is psychically get your car started. Just start the car. Start the car. Come. A little more, buddy. Go in. Yeah, not fucking yet. Come on. Pop the hood and I'll have a little. I'll have a piddle round and no, see if no, I can pull no, some I'm things fine. off. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna jump it the right way. Honestly, no. come on. No. No. Okay, look at me. No. Look at me. And sleep. No. Excuse me. Can I get a pint of lager, please? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. Really? She's got faith in me. How about shaking hands? How about shaking hands? Shake hands, yeah, sorry, yeah, All right, peace. let's do it. Peace. Yeah. Right, I'm getting drinks from me, everyone. Just put your order in. <laughs> and we go to Vegas. And I find it. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you ever been to one of those ribs places where they wear the bibs? <laughs> Oi, listen to this. You're like, you won't believe this. I was in one of those ribs places where they have the bibs, right? Anyway, I've been there with my mate, Mickey. Mickey was there, he's down there. I go off to the toilet, right? And I come back, and <laughs> the ribs are stacked right up high, three times high. <laughs> Here's to Mickey. If you missed any of this program or any episode, watch it again on Showtime On Demand on the next all-new La La Land. So tell me a little bit about you. Uh, I'm an actor. I'm big news. I'm like the next sort of the big thing that you ain't ever heard of yet. There's a lot of psychics auditioning today. Do I need to do something that's going to set me apart from everyone else? I just love you, I'm making a movie about the condor, taking it from captivity and releasing it into the wild. Let that poor bird free. <laughs> Whoa. That's the bird. La La Land, Mondays at 11. Can't get enough La La Land? Log on to SHO.com now for extended scenes from next week's episode.